1945, a memorable year etched in the history of mankind. The Second World War ended in the month of May after huge devastation and loss of lives. The Allied forces boarded the ships and sailed back home to a tumultuous welcome. The United States was the most sought-after destination then by all. But one person sought to leave the United States to serve the people of India. That person was Reverend John L. Dossey, one of the founders of Faith Academy. Mary Dossey joined him as his life partner. Both set up a loving Christian home. Obeying God's call, they moved from Kanauj to Delhi to continue their ministry and finally settled down in East Patel Nahar. Faith Academy is the answer to prayer and is run by Christian Educational Society. Born out of the ministry of Faith Bible Presbyterian Church, it all started with a suggestion made by Mrs. Persis Massey at a Bible study to start a Christian school. The idea took shape with seven people contributing 3,000 rupees each and Faith Academy was born on January 8, 1964 in a rented building in East Patel Nahar. Mrs. Dorsey was its first principal and Mr. L. Jeffroy became the manager. Persis Massey joined as a teacher, Dr. Strong and Ms. E. Lal also joined them to form a small club of founders of the school. Reverend Dorsey's instruments were simple, a Bible and a cycle. Ms. Kanna joined Faith Academy in 1973 as a first Indian principal and with a small team of teachers, the school began to grow. Faith Academy was a place of growth and faith. As we worked hard, we were recognized as a middle school in 1974. We applied for upgradation from class 8 to 10, which we received in 1987. Students worked hard and we were upgraded to class 12. That was the time when phase one was completed. It was a big battle to get a piece of land in this part of the capital for the school. At times I remember Reverend Darcy and myself used to cycle down to an MP's house to wake him up in the morning to press our demand. At times I remember that we used to climb 17 floors up and down in DDA to chase our files. After 12 years of efforts, we got our land finally in December 1981. It was not easy to construct this building. In fact, people mocked the architect and said, Yaha kya banega? And Mr. V. M. Sharma said, Yaha par jungle mein mangal hoga. That is what we see today. Academy is marching ahead gloriously in educating about 4,000 students. At Faith Academy, scholastic and post-scholastic complement each other. Faith Academy saves our dreams. Excellent teachers. 
state-of-art laboratories, At Faith Academy, we encourage children to think independently and to pursue their passion. Amazing environment. Cherishing memories. I believe that someday I will take the moral values that I have learned from school to the world. Someday we'll be the change the world needs. <laughs>